Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're dropping down south. We're on Highway 6 and also 191. We just left Indian Canyon. What a pretty ride that was, wasn't it? Going over that Indian Creek summit. That is 50 miles of pure beauty. This little town here, we're going to make a stop here. It's called Helper. Helper, Utah. And it's supposed to be really historic. Got some cool buildings. So guess what? We're going to check it out like right now. According to the phone, here we are at North Main. Supposed to be a museum here too. Hopefully it's gonna be open. Picture perfect day. Yep, to the left. Historic helper. I was reading up a little bit on this online last night. Look at the mountains, backdrops, goodness. Look at that. Oh man. This is like going back in time right here. It's supposed to be a railroad town. Actually, that's how it got its name, I believe. But what I was reading, they used to have extra train engines that helped trains go up steep mountain grades. That's how it got the name Helper. <laughs> so they helped out trains. Wow, look at this place. This is like the Utah version of Mayberry, huh? <laughs> Old houses right on the street. All the flowers. Oh goodness. Wow. Old brick buildings. Big old statue there. Looks like some miner with a pick. Oh yeah. This place is pristine. Look at the buildings. Look at the condition. Oh my goodness. Coca-Cola sign up on that one. Oh, we're going to stop. I'll walk around. Let's do a drive through first. Four-wheelers parked. I read there's a canyon and stuff. I can't do it this trip, but... I'm definitely coming back up next season into Utah. Wyoming in Idaho. Pretty much got that planned out. Look at that old hotel called the Avalon. Looks like some of them are getting worked on. I'll be darn. What's there on the right? Piggly Wiggly. Another hotel. Ooh! There's a museum. It's early yet. Probably not quite open. We'll wait for it. Another old hotel. Wonder if they're haunted. All them old ones are, huh? Well, isn't this too cool for school? All right, let me get turned around. Find a place to park. Take a little break. Even the gas stations are old. <laughs> what have we got here? Car wash. Oh man. Okay, this is gonna be fun. I know it already. Look at all the railroad tracks. Goodness. Hoping trains and look at that view. There's your Kodak moment right there. Main Street with the mountain backdrop. Back roads, small towns, and we got us a good small town like right now. Alright. 
And then we get park. Go, go for a walk. Well, I, I don't think that museum, I looked online, I got about uh, 40 minutes before that museum opens up. So let's go wander the streets. Helper Rio Theater. It's supposed to be an artist town too. They've really uh, catered to the Arts and crafts. Some kind of toys, toys and gifts. But look at this, they're remodeling. Oh wow, they're gutting those whole buildings. That's some serious dollars. That, that was an old hotel. Wonder what they find when they tear out the walls and stuff. <laughs> Look at this thing. Old glass doors, double doors. Pretty good parking. Well, what do you say? Film in the middle of the street, no one's coming. <laughs> But that mountain backdrop against the town. I bet movies were made here, huh? How cool is this? Helper Clinic. Pharmacy. You think everyone knows everyone here? <laughs> yeah, they're remodeling all these buildings. That's some serious bucks. It's colorful, too. Look at the colors. What we got here? Fire department. Right on Main Street. And Bowling Alley. I mean, this place is loaded with just old time good stuff to do. This is the way the world used to be, right here. Kind of reminds me when I grew up, flowers. Oh yeah, look at those guys. Well, let's wander on back. Hopefully that museum will be open here in a little bit. Hotel Helper, the heart of Utah. Huh. They got that right, old movie theater. Yeah, you could easily make a movie here. All the art. Look at the artwork. Huh. I'll be darned. Old bar. <laughs> Have a cold one. Regis Club. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. Look at the flowers. I got chairs, tables out in the sidewalk. the tile facing look ah 
Sorry, I love architecture like this. This is great. And the Avalon. Get your room at the Avalon. They got to have RV parks and camping around here somewhere. Pretty cool. Okay, there's the van. I'll just leave it there. Let's walk down towards the museum. Uh, let me get on this side of the street, and then we can see the buildings better. Got the sunlight hitting them, just perfect. When I was reading about this place, coal mining was huge. Of course, the railroads, they bring the income and the people. Wonder if that's an actual hotel or just apartments. There's old caboose. And museum. We're only a couple minutes away from it opening. We'll go in there in just a minute. See what else we got. I think we're at the end of Maine. All right, let me uh, get us in that museum. All right, we're in. It's all donation. Suggested donation was ten dollars, but you can put in whatever you want. There's four floors here with an elevator. Helpers Pioneer. Talking about the railroad. Wow, look at that old pump organ. Huh. Signage from the old days. The lady said they've just been collecting. A lot of people donate when they clean out their estates and all that. Replica of an old kitchen back in the day. Huh. Look at that stove. Old time fridge. That's an actual ice box, huh? <laughs> Two exhibits. Life on a Utah coal mine. Wow. Boy, it's like a maze in here. Ah, oh, here's the elevator. All right, we'll start at the top, work our way down. Counting machines. The shady side of helper. Okay. Justice Court. Oh, look at the still. <laughs> Make you some shine. <laughs> What's in here? Oh boy, ladies of the evening. Look at the wallpaper. Oh my goodness. Woo. Get your hair done. Boy, they thought of everything in here. Look how the floors are open. That allows the heat to come up through.
lot of local history here, I'm sure. <laughs> there you go. Old black and white TVs, radios. What else we got? That one's empty. Room for stuff. Military. I'm sure there's a lot of veterans from here. Wow, how'd you like to carry that piano up all, up to the top floor? Old musical instruments. Huh. This the history here. There you go. There's a good look at Main Street. There's the van way up there. <laughs> Not that many people. I'm sure they got their own little festivals and Especially with all the arts and craft. My goodness. Okay, what have we got in here? American Legion. Kiwanis. Lions Club. And, okay. We already seen this one. Uh, no, we didn't. I'm lost. Okay. I think that's it for up here. Let's go down a floor. No air conditioning in here, but it's pretty comfortable. Here you go. Old time general store. Come in and get your stuff. Old hats. All the old cans, baby dolls, phone, cash register. <laughs> oh, man. You know, they've done good putting all this together. There you go. Model trains. Here's your quilt room. All the ladies that sew the quilts and gossip, huh? <laughs> Old scales for butchers. Huh. I mean, it's in every single room. This must have been a hotel at one time. A lot of days I feel upside down. <laughs> All right, we're going down. Alright, I think this is where we started. Well, pretty darn good. Historic Museum. Wow, look at that painting. In Helper, Utah. Look at the old light switch. The push button light switch. God, I remember those. Huh. This endless in here. Talk about a group selfie. Look at that. Hi, back over you. Old car dealer. Huh. Okay. Let's head for the van. 
<laughs> so what'd you think? What a cool old town. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's a pretty big museum, so it takes a while to go through it. So. The whole town's like a museum. All it's awesome, huh? Yeah. How long you lived here? So. Um, I was born and raised in East Carbon, Sunnyside, and my husband was from Kenilworth. And when we got married, we moved to Halbridge, so we've been over here for about 40 years, maybe. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that lady is a, just a world of info. They're restoring this whole place and the arts and crafts. All of it. This is definitely a town to come back to for sure. Goodness. And they do have festivals through the year. They got a nice website, town website, Helper Utah. Our chariot awaits. Our Veer TV. I still love the colors of this place. It's just so colorful and bright. Happy. Need little friendly places and nowadays huh if you get a chance get on over here to help her Utah <laughs> it's like going back in time small town Utah right here okay we're gonna jump back on highway 6 up here in 191 we're dropping south heading towards Arizona Journey continues. Talk soon.